Murphy's End Episode 14 November 24th The PTA Meeting Good. Well, good afternoon, North Murphy High. Sorry for the late start, but we've been dealing with a bit of a situation. So, um, thank you for your patience. First of all, it is Tuesday, November 24th, and for those of you who left promptly at the end of the school day yesterday and missed all of the excitement, well, remember that PTA meeting that was on the school calendar Hannah posted? Um... Apparently, there are some really deeply ingrained behaviors in the parents of the students here. Instincts that involve showing up for the scheduled PTA meetings, even if you are a terrifying, flesh-eating mutant. So, there's that. Long story short, the parents decided to show up for the PTA meeting last night. Slightly longer story short, they were still terrifying, flesh-eating mutants hell-bent on eating our faces. So, yeah. Suffice to say... The PTA meeting was not a success, and I'll be speaking to the student council about having any further meetings wiped from the schedule for the rest of the school year. Do you really think that'll help? I don't know, Hannah, but it's the only idea I've got. Anyway, thanks to everyone who stayed late last night to help with the horde of mutants that forced their way not only into the school, but into the individual classrooms. I know some of them used to be your parents, and that couldn't have been easy for you to deal with. So, just know that we understand your pain, and we really appreciate everything you did to help. Also, thanks to everyone else who helped out with the cleaning this morning upon their arrival. We, we couldn't have done it without you. It's thanks to the efforts of each and every student at North Murphy High that we were able to get the situation under control and back to the status quo. That being said, we understand that you might have a lot of questions about exactly what went on last night, and... Since we'll be canceling classes for the rest of the day so everyone can go home and recuperate, we thought we'd give you a quick rundown over lunch before everyone heads home. But before we get into all that, we have just a couple non-PTA meeting announcements to get out of the way. So, here goes. First off, since you're all heading down there as we speak, the cafeteria menu. Since Thanksgiving is just around the corner, we thought what better time to indulge a little in some of our old favorites to offset the horror of our daily drudgery. So without further ado, the cafeteria menu this week will be as follows. Canned ham, box stuffing, canned cranberry sauce, both jellied and regular, homemade rolls, and pumpkin pie for dessert. Okay, it's not exactly pie. It's a bunch of pumpkin mush in bowls with a little bit of pie crust crumbled on top. And, yeah, the pumpkin was from the jack-o'-lanterns we had for Halloween, but it's still good, I promise. We chopped up the jack-o'-lanterns and froze them before they had a chance to go bad, so it should be fine. I swear. Okay, what's next? Since we will not be staying for class after lunch, there will also be no intramural sports today. As we still have been unable to find Hans's shoe, not to mention all the other left shoes that have been going missing lately. Seriously, guys, what the hell? We have created a brand new lost and found box that can be found in the front office. Now that we have a visibly labeled super obvious place for found items to be returned, hopefully the lost shoes will start turning up. So if you find anything in your locker and just know we're not actually accusing anyone here, (coughs) price... Please bring the items to the front office and put them in the lost and found bin. And remember, the lost and found bin is for retrieving actual lost items only. If you are caught stealing from the bin, you will immediately receive detention. This is not a grab bin, people. Okay? Okay. Okay, now back to the PTA meeting announcements. For those of you who were here yesterday afternoon when the mutants got into the school and happened to see my friend Blake running from them and are now considering joining up for the track and field team that he captains because you've realized just how fast he is, 
we've got some good news. Blake has agreed to expand the team and has posted a sign-up form on the bulletin board outside the front office. If you're interested, be sure to get your name down by the end of the week because that's when sign-ups end. Please note that you must have appropriate running clothes and footwear in order to join the team. So if your only pair of running shoes is mysteriously missing the left shoe, well, you better find it fast if you want to join the team. And they must be proper running shoes. Flip-flops and snow boots will not be accepted at this time. Those are being held for the advanced track and field training team that Blake will be holding after you complete the introductory course. But if you have all that, get your name down and get ready to run because if Blake can teach me to run, he can teach anyone. But you're terrible at running. Shut up, Hannah. Now, speaking of sports, I'm sure you were just as surprised as I was to find out that Presley knows her way around a bat. Yep. I'm sure the mutants weren't the only ones taken aback when Presley started swinging and taking them down with surprising skill and accuracy. Apparently, as hard as it is to believe, Presley is a former Little League champion. Not sure how she managed to cover that information up in a town as small as Murphy, but I think I speak for all of us when I say that I was very impressed and appreciative to see her put her skills to good use. She was a little resistant at first, but Hannah managed to convince her to head up a softball team for everyone. Not sure how she did it, since Presley isn't exactly a joiner, but... It took a month. What? I had to cut a month off her detention for her to agree. Huh. I am actually surprised that's all it took. Well, then she realized she could show off her skills and basically be better than everyone at something, so... Uh, gotcha. Well, no matter how it came about, I'm sure we're all excited about the softball team. Now, there likely won't be any games until the spring, but it's never too early to learn how to swing a bat, especially considering all the things that are trying to murder us on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah. The sign-up form for the softball team can be found on the bulletin board next to the track and field sign-up forms. Now, mileage will vary due to the number of students who sign up, but we're hoping to put together two full teams minimum, so you have someone to play against come springtime. Since it looks like the Tomcats won't be playing against the Sharks anytime soon, given we still haven't managed to track down the Academy. But, you know, fingers crossed, maybe softball's where we'll finally beat them. Come on. <sighs> Must I? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fine. Go Tomcats. Woo! Go Tomcats! We just wanted to let you know that shop class and auto shop will be cancelled until further notice. This is due to the fact that, well... <sighs> okay. During the attack on the school, the members of the shop class and auto shop tried to defend themselves without Scotty's help, and long story short, they somehow managed to weld their classroom shut. And now, they are completely cut off from the rest of the school. Scotty has given them a firm talking to about their choices, and is confident that the problem can be solved. But, until Scotty can lay hands on a blowtorch, let's just say it's going to take some time. We're hoping that the fact that they're likely going to miss out on the Thanksgiving feast we have on offer in the cafeteria this week will be punishment enough for their actions. But, in case you're worried about them starving, don't be. Scotty assures us that they have plenty of snacks to tie them over until they are freed from the cage of their own making. And given that Scotty will be busy dealing with this problem, and has no tools to teach shop class with anyway, we ask that you please report to study hall in the cafeteria or the library during your scheduled shop class or auto shop periods. We will let you know when we finally get the area opened up again. Okay? Thanks. Finally, from us at the front office, and from the rest of us at North Murphy High, I'd just like to extend a huge thanks to Nada, whose quick thinking and quicker actions saved all of our lives, as she managed to not only distract the hordes of mutants during their final attack, but managed to trick them all into the room that isn't there. Nada, your ability to swing and hold onto the door jam as they all fell into the void was nothing short of amazing. Thank you, Nada.
And before we go, we have a message from Camila, our student body president, saying that the next student council meeting will be held on Wednesday after school, and they will be going over the more intense damage to the building and grounds that we were unable to fix this morning, as well as any ideas to further fortify the school so that we don't find ourselves in this situation again. Please note, there will be jobs posted on the bulletin board following this meeting, and participation in further cleanup, repair, and fortification efforts are not optional. They are mandatory, people. Camila would like me to remind all of you to check the job postings on the board by the end of the week, so that the repairs and alterations can begin as soon as possible, after the tools are rescued from the cutoff shop class. Uh, Sammy? Yeah, Hannah? You mean the actual physical tools, right? Like the hammers and drills and stuff? Right? That's what you meant. I know what I said. Anyway, that should be pretty much it for the announcements today, so enjoy your lunch and- Don't forget the suggestion box. Ugh, seriously? Yep. Why? Because the students give us these suggestions with the understanding they'll be read and heard. And also because I said so. Ugh, fine. Hold on. Okay, well, I guess it's time to do the suggestion box. I hope you all enjoy these over your lunch, the same lunch I'm currently missing out on because I'm stuck reading your stupid suggestions back to you. Sammy. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, suggestion one. No more PTA meetings. Agreed. Done. Next. Sammy. What? It's actually a good suggestion. Okay, I know you all can't see it right now, but Hannah is glaring at me really hard. Okay, okay, I know, I can't make that call, I don't actually hold any kind of power, blah blah blah. Look, I'll make sure that Camila gets this, okay? Maybe the student council will see reason here. Okay, suggestion two. Take the kids bowling. Um, no. I don't even need to ask about this. You know why? Because the answer is no. Obviously. There are so many problems with this suggestion, I just, I, I don't even know where to start. Maybe start with the mutants? Thank you, Hannah. Yes. In case you were not aware, the bowling alley is currently filled with mutants. The exact same kind of mutants that we just had to save ourselves from last night. So, either you didn't know and still thought it was a good idea to... to what? Corral a bunch of feral children who want to bite our faces off while screeching bloody murder? And take them bowling? Or you did know... And actually are proposing what? Feed the children to the mutants? Feed the mutants to the children? Either way, the answer is no. I'm so glad I'm doing these, Hannah. Thank you for this. You're welcome. I was being sarcastic. Okay, suggestion three. Please don't be horseshoes. Please don't be horseshoes. Please don't be horseshoes. <sighs> horseshoes. Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed that. This has been your suggestion box for the day. Hopefully that is the last of the announcements this time, because I would really like to go get some lunch before it's all gone. Hannah? Yep, we're good. Excellent. Okay, it is Tuesday, November 24th. I hope everyone is enjoying their lunch. Have a good rest of your day, North Murphy High. Murphy's End is a Hindsight Podcast production, and new episodes are released every Tuesday. Sammy is voiced by Sarah Eagleson, Hannah is voiced by Krista Seeley, and full credits for the episode can be found at our website, hindsightpodcast.com. While you're there, sign up for our mailing list for news and information about upcoming episodes. You can also find us on Twitter, at Murphy's End, and if you like the show, please leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or support us on Patreon. Remember, it's going to be a long year.